In this video, we're going to talk about the WP footer action hook. Okay. So if we go to Codex, we can see that uh, it is defined with the do action function and it prints the script or data before closing body tag on the front end. Which means that if you go onto your front, uh, front end and you check the inspect element. So this is my body tag and it ends here. So just before the body tag ends, it allows us to go ahead and uh, insert uh, the script, uh, our own custom script. Okay. So that's what the job of this um, WP footer hook is. It inserts the data uh, before the closing body tag uh, on the front end. Okay, so not back end, not back end, but front end. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. So they have given an example. Before we look at the example, we want to see where exactly it is defined. So it's defined in WP includes general template. So let's go on to WP includes general template. Scroll down. Got it. General template. And the name is WP footer. So as you can see, this is defined un, uh, under the function WP footer. So whenever you call the WP footer function, this hook is called. So all the actions that are attached to this uh, hook will be sorry all the um, functions that are attached to this hook will be called at this point okay so let's go ahead and uh, try it out an example if we go to codex uh, we will see that um, <clears throat> okay let's just read what these guys are saying WP footer action is triggered near the body tag of the user template by WP footer function. So that's what we discuss by this function. And also this is theme dependent and is one of the most essential theme hooks. So it is fairly widely supported. Okay. Um, this hook provides no parameters. So as we can see, there's no parameter next to it. So we don't need that. Uh, you use this hook by having your function echo output to the browser or by having it perform background task. Your function shouldn't return and shouldn't take any parameters because it doesn't give any so don't so your custom function will not have any parameters um, this hook is theme dependent which means that it is up to the author of the each wordpress theme to include it it may not be available on all themes so so you should take this into account when using it when included default output for this function is admin panel which will be shown in the top of the theme it should be kept in the footer of every theme because most of the plugin bind the script files and functions to this hook. The hook, uh, this hook is an action which means that its primary acts as an event trigger instead of content filter. This is semantic difference, but it'll help you remember what this hook does if you use like this. So th this is basically what they're saying. This is a action hook. This is not a filter hook, <coughs> so it's not going to filter anything. Sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and include your set of code just before the body tag ends in the front end okay so we're using this function your function we are using add action to hook our custom function to wp footer hook, footer hook. and uh, we are echoing out this message this is inserted at the bottom and that's what, what i'm doing in my functions.php for my um, theme i'm just copy paste that code and let's go ahead and check it out as you can see, we've got this message. This is inserted at the bottom. Okay. Cool. Let's read further. If you want to influence the moment that you your hook is executed, then you can append an integer third argument to the add action. So what this is saying is that you can change the uh, priority. This is this parameter is the priority. You can change it. If you increase the priority, definitely it will be inserted later as compared to the functions that have the lower priority so this is a higher priority okay higher the number lower the priority and as a result your hook will be executed further down in the page so that's what is this saying because it's a higher number your code will be executed further down in the page uh, by default we all know that the priority is 10 uh, we are putting it 100 so it's too high so which means it's going to go down and down uh, and queued scripts are executed at the priority level 20, which means 
uh, this basically if you are enqueuing your styles and JavaScripts uh, files using WP NQ scripts and your function these have the priority of 20 but uh, this one you can define what you like loading jQuery the to load jQuery you need to use NQ function as described NQ executed at the priority level of 20 okay so if you want to include your jQuery file you can either use it uh, you know use this app WP NQ script and wherever you are um, including your JavaScript file using WP register you can just pass this as an array jQuery and automatically include the jQuery before JavaScript file but in case if you want to do it separately then you can just use this hook and it's going to go ahead and you know call a custom function which is going to include the jQuery file for you at the footer at the priority level of 20 which is the same as the other scripts okay cool so I think that's about it if you have any questions you can always leave a comment for me and uh, see you in the next video thank you bye bye